Hey there, thank you for tuning in to Down to Vacay. This is Gil. I'm Liv. And we are on the Norwegian Joy. That's oh, Joy. Um, I must say, I think we, we spoke about this before when you, when you mentioned how like being back on the ship was like... Uh, well, first of all, it's our first time on this particular ship. That is true. But it's the sister of several other Norwegian ships that have the similar layout. The breakaway class? Yeah. Kinda so like, that's yeah. why I felt like it was home because we've been on <laughs> most of those other ships. Which one? The Norwegian uh, Bliss, the Encore, Encore. the Breakaway. breakaway. Uh, we didn't go on the Getaway. That was right the only now. one that got away. So yeah, we we enjoyed the other classes. That was your own pun. Enjoyed. We were we sailed on the new Norwegian Prima back in February. Which um, I still need to put out the uh, well. We need to put out the. Don't review. we me? It is um, you. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a long time. Um, yeah, so we sailed on the Prima, and it just it just wasn't the same as this ship. Now this uh, Norwegian. This class of ships. Well, yeah, yeah. This Norwegian Joy is uh, is I, I guess it has everything that I I always enjoyed. Like. Um, except the the difference between this one and and uh, the others is that this one now has the racetrack and the laser tag, uh, but we'll get you know we'll get into that a uh, little a little later on. Um, so let's start from the top. The arrival. Yes. So we departed out of the uh, New York port City? in New York City. Westside Highway. Yes. Pier eighty eight. Yeah. And hmm. It wasn't as smooth as we've had before. No. It was a little chaotic, and I'm not exactly sure why, because people are are uh, assigned times to come in, to check in, to to register or whatever. Ours was 11:30 to 12. And we got there a little early. I think we got there at like 11. No, no, we got there like around 11:20. Well, like that's because of the traffic. 11:25. But anyway, there. the point is, everyone's supposed to have an assigned time. I think everybody just chucked the time and then just decided to go. So it was a lot of people at the same time. So the yeah. security line was horrendous. Yeah, it was horrible. Like I, I felt like we were gonna be there for like two hours or something like that. But it did move pretty quickly, um, despite the fact that there was only like three um, metal detectors. Yeah. With, you know how usually there's like a conveyor, a longer conveyor belt so that you could put your stuff. No, it's really short. So I think that was part of the reason why there was like a backlog. Because it's basically, you better be ready to go in, yeah. put your stuff on and go. Like, there is no, like, getting unpacked or whatever, you know, like, taking out the stuff that you need to take out. So I think that kind of slowed up the process. It was packed. It was packed. Um, I, I do feel, I mean, again, we've, we've gone on other cruises uh, out of Miami, Orlando, um, and I just recently from Bayonne, New Jersey, and I felt like this port needs a major, major update. It is, it is ugly. It's not as, not as pretty, but uh, it, it gets the job done. I guess in the long run, it, you know, it gets the job done. And we got out within 38 minutes, like you know, from the start of waiting online for uh, security to the checkout. Uh, we are platinum um, on the Norwegian cruise line. So it was good that we had the platinum because we just went straight to the uh, line to to get in, to, to register and get in. So that was good. But it took 38 minutes from start to entering the ship. And I thought it was going to be like two hours. So that was a good thing. You know, mm -hmm. either, either way, the uh, port in New York City and Manhattan, it was, uh, it, it was, it's not appealing. Um, but... We did get by within 38 minutes. I guess there goes that 11.30 to 12 mm -hmm. time, right? So that was good. Either way, you know, I don't know. I give that, uh, I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to rate it. You know, do you rate it based on the time it took from start to finish or the, you know, the way the port looked? Um, I well, know. I think third category is how organized or disorganized it is. And because to me, it's all about the organization. And if they would have been a little more organized, then I think the line would have flowed faster. So that that's, how, that's that the criteria I, I, I judge it on. Maybe. Yeah. 
I don't know. Either way, that was our experience for the port. Okay, so in terms of specialty restaurants, there's several options. Um, I guess depending on what kind of food you're looking for. Um, Cagney's is a good option. It's a steakhouse. So good. Uh, you also have Le Bistro, which is a French restaurant. Oui. Uh, you have La Cucina, which is an Italian restaurant. Yeah. Q, which is like a Texas barbecue um, place. Yeah. Uh, you also have... I forgot what the other one is. Ocean, ocean. Oh, blue. ocean blue. Uh, that's ocean why, because we've never been there. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's the it's the seafood place. Seafood. Yeah, that's the that's never. the only other one. I, yeah, we haven't been to ocean blue. Never. I mean, listen, you're allergic to shellfish, so. Oh. That blows. Hello, and the piece de resistance, Food Republic. Food Republic. Oh, that's the other one. Hands down, the the best, one of the best spots, man. It's the noodles and everything. They, yeah, it's like a, I guess, Asian fusion type of place. So you can get sushi, you can get ramen, you can get pot stickers. It's, I, we always, anytime we are on a Norwegian ship that has that, that establishment, we always go there. Uh, hands down for me, Norwegian, it, uh, they, they're like the best for the food. I, again, we've been on three different cruise lines, right? We've been on the Caribbean, uh, Carnival. We've been on Royal, Royal Caribbean and Norwegian. Um, we have yet to go on MSC. MSC, yeah, or the Princess. Um, mm -hmm. I look forward to to going on them, on on those ships. But oh, for, even Virgin Voyage. Oh, we've Virgin been Voyage. On, so we've been on four different cruise lines. Uh, and to me, Norwegian has to be, you know, the best. Now, I must say, sorry, <laughs> I've been watching videos of other other travelers and, and other people who have taken Norwegian or this one actually this the Norwegian joy and man they gave this cruise line like they it was like bad reviews like it was horrible I don't know what they were talking about you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna say okay one maybe the the Prima when it comes to the you know overall it could be an issue uh, the Viva because of the setup but they were just like ramming Norwegian the joy pretty bad so when I watched it, um, you know, the videos on YouTube, I'm thinking to myself, man, this is going to suck, you know, because, you know, again, this is Norwegian. Um, but no, they were wrong. I don't know what it was. I don't know what their issue was with the food or anything like that. But the food was good. It has been good so far. Yep. Um, from the specialty restaurants to the buffet. It's Even been... the compliment, I mean, to me, I'm, <laughs> I'm a um, bougie-ish. So I tend to like the specialty restaurants more for dinner. Um, I don't mind the buffet for lunch and breakfast, mm. but I would have to say that even for dinner on this particular ship, the buffet was good. So they had a like a Chinese Asian night the other night, yeah. and it was great. You know, you can get lo mein, you can get stir fried rice, you can get sushi. They had sushi that night. Um, so and then they also do each night. Well, first of all, the buffet is called Garden Cafe. And each night they usually like feature something. So like it might be sirloin night or, you know, the rotisserie, I don't know, rotisserie pig night. The Italian or, night or something. or something. There's usually like some kind of special that they'll do in that restaurant and it's complimentary. And again, it's buffet. You get to pick and choose what you want. Yeah. So it's no waiting unless you're waiting for a seat. Yeah. Yeah. That's only, but dinner time, you're not usually waiting for any seats. There's a lot of seating. It's breakfast and lunch time that you have to kind of, you know, keep your eagle eyes peered. Listen, the specialty restaurants, hands down, that's where we go. And of course, because I am platinum, well, you're platinum now, we have two specialty restaurant vouchers. So we can go to any of the specialty restaurants. And then you, you also get like an additional one or two, depending on your cabin, um, that they give you uh, for any specialty restaurants as well. So you can either eat at three restaurants during the week or four restaurants, depending on you know your cabin. And again, it's like when you go to a specialty restaurant on a Norwegian ship, you're going to get quality food. And this is what we got when we went to Cagney Steakhouse, Food Republic. And what was the other one? Did we go back to Cagney? We ended up going back uh, to Cagney. Yeah. We went to Cagney's twice. But we did we did go to uh, Q's uh, Smokehouse. We've been there On before. another ship. Mm -hmm. And it, it was solid. It was really, really good. Yep. So, you know, a, a lot of times Norwegian will kind of 
you know, put that, uh, the charge in there, you know, you, a lot of people look at the, uh, the cost for a Norwegian cruise as a, you know, in comparison to a carnival cruise. But when you go on a Norwegian cruise, you're going to see the difference. You yes. It's called five pounds. <laughs> and you'll be going home with it. <laughs> Keep that in mind too. The food is, the food is solid. I, I can't, I can't stress it enough, you know, um, and it was crazy because again, going back to that story of, of you know, uh, YouTubers who travel on, on cruises and they were like bashing Norwegian. I think they even called it like, uh, I forgot what it was, but it was kind of like a, a scary uh, title about the Norwegian joy. So I'm thinking, oh, this is gonna be horrible. But no, it's not horrible. It's basically, you're getting the best of everything, right? It's not the best at one thing, but it's really, really good at just about everything. It's a great combination of so, things. So, you know, again, if you want solid food, specialty restaurants on board, this Norwegian Joy, you know, is solid to me. I, I give it like 4.5, you know, palm trees. So, I don't know. Out of five, not 10. <laughs> yeah, out, out of five. Um, and that's pretty much it for that. So, let's talk about entertainment what can we not say so it's funny so we're number one there's always a broadway uh caliber show you have to reserve tickets for them yeah. you can't just well you can go by standby but you know a lot of times that's sketchy so you do the tickets as soon as you come on board like seriously as soon as you board Get Go on that, straight to those on, on electric touch screen. Yeah, touch screen menu. On every on every deck. On every deck there should be a, a like on the major ones, six, seven, eight, right? Six, seven, eight. There's so a, you go straight screens. there and go look at what uh shows are available and mm -hmm. which ones you can reserve tickets to because yeah. they're a hot commodity. You're not you're not gonna get it if you wait too long. Right. So we were able to go to Footloose on the first night. And it was awesome. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, it was great. We we've been on, you know, we've been on other Norwegian cruise ships, and the Broadway entertainment, the Broadway theater entertainment, is hands down the best on any cruise ship. To be honest with you, other cruise ships will have, you know, they'll put together some their own some, show. some stuff, but it's mostly like singing, you know, songs or whatever it is. Pretty, you know, again, it's pretty cool. Um, but on a Norwegian ship, it's more than that they give you broadway theater quality we've seen rock of ages we've seen the donna summers show uh donna, donna summers i forgot what it was musical called. Mm -hmm. um on the prima we've seen uh jersey boys you know again these are quality shows so on this ship on the norwegian joy they have footloose mm -hmm. which again was pretty pretty good it was actually pretty good um if you are a platinum member, if you are a uh, sapphire, even gold, then you can you can actually uh, reserve any show or whatever activities 125 days out of your sailing. Unfortunately, we booked, you know, kind of uh, it was a uh, too late for that. Yeah, it was a spur of the moment type of uh, thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so we I couldn't do it. But generally, generally, if you are a gold, you know, uh, platinum, sapphire, and up. 125 days out so just be ready for that prepare for that um oh by the way you can also book your restaurant your specialty restaurant reservations ahead of time as well yeah you don't have to wait till you board to, to book those however the complimentary restaurants no reservations so basically you show up there we suggest <laughs> like 5 30 or 6 o'clock we're early birds so we like to eat early um so we suggest you go there like when the restaurant opens to see if you can get a good reservation for the complimentary restaurants. What was the other show that you saw? So we also show, saw, I mean, I also saw Elements, which is a Norwegian production. So they created this production and it was, I want to say it was equivalent to like a Circus of Lake type of thing. So it had a little magic, it had a little acrobats, it had some like um, contemporary dancing. It was pretty cool. It was a mixture of, of stuff, but it was entertaining. What would you give that? Would you say it's the same quality as the Broadway theater? Oh, yeah. Or Visually, the... it was very interesting. Visually, it was very, uh, yes. It kind of like, you. the audience almost felt like part of the show. Is it like the typical 
you know, a, a show like uh, the Carnival Mardi Gras at the side. Where, oh, the you know? Atrium one. Yeah. yeah, where they had, you know, they so had acrobatics. Like and, yes, which, to be honest, that's the first time that I remember a Norwegian show that did that. What they had before was they had a Cirque du Soleil, like, dinner show. But that was something you had to pay extra for. Sorry to say, we never did that. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're, like, we're not paying extra. So... Um, I'm, I'm happy to see that they, I guess they removed Circus Soleil and that they created this unique show for their, for their ships. So I like that. Uh, that's also one that you have to reserve the tickets for. We also went to see a Beatles like tribute band, which was good. very good. And they also break up their show. So they, they play several times during the course of the cruise. The younger years and then the later later years the yep. end the end years i guess so you can either catch it in the theater or then you can also go to the cavern club which is like a bar uh like a little social club mm -hmm. um smaller venue but probably more intimate and you can either catch the show there um so i like i like that too yeah, um good. the other show that i just caught today which was a broadway cabaret so it was kind of uh, and it was an ode to the 80s which by the way i don't remember any <laughs> Broadway shows from the 80s. They were actually asking people. I'm like, Shh, cats? That's the only one that I would think was around in the 80s. Um, so that was cool because it was almost, first of all, I it was the, the, the main cast from Footloose. So I thought that was cool. So you get to see them in a different setting. They have voices, man. And they Those are very, very, sing. very talented. So this was not a lot of like music this was like most mostly acapella like there was mm. a little background music but it wasn't overbearing yeah it wasn't overbearing. it wasn't a live band hmm. um it just you know they had the music playing but it was very entertaining and so they kind of went through a medley of different um different broadway shows from the 80s so that was pretty cool hmm. and it was a it, again it was a smaller setting that was in the queue the steakhouse they sometimes they have a stage so they can also do shows there too so. that's a big stage actually for um it reminded me of uh the carnival mardi gras um i forgot the name of that that restaurant kind of like the same thing the queues the smoke the steakhouse or smokehouse or whatever it is mm -hmm. the mardi gras has the same type of setup with the uh with the stage it's actually pretty pretty uh intimate it's rather intimate yeah. Um, so if you have a, a great band, you're, you're solid. Uh, there's one good band on here that I, that I heard play, but I haven't heard them again. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, definitely check out the shows when you are on the Norwegian Joy or well, any Norwegian ship for that matter. And not to mention that during the course of the evening, like let's say after dinner hours, um, in various parts of the ship, they'll have live entertainment. So in Sugarcane, which is like a Latin theme bar. Hottest spot. They'll, yes, it's always the most happening spot on the ship. Um, they'll have like a Latin duo, or sometimes they'll have a band and a live, and, and it's live music, so it's a lot more entertaining than if they were just to play with a DJ. No mm -hmm. offense, but <laughs> if they were just to play like a DJ plays songs. Um, and in the atrium, they also do like a duo, or sometimes they'll have someone playing on the piano, like live on the piano. So I think it's pretty cool that you're able to kind of. You know, it's almost like you're bar hopping around the ship during the evening if you wanted to look for something. It's a typical setup, right? You have your ship and you have a lot of, you know, different artists playing in different spots. Uh, the quality of the, the artists are are pretty decent. I'm not, I'm not going to say that I was wowed by all of them, except for that, uh, that band that, you know, they played rock. Um, of course, every band on a cruise ship needs to play a song from Journey. So that's that's how you can. That's always a plus. That's how, that's how you can determine, you know, how good that band is, how good the singers are. Um, but yeah, but it's it's typical stuff. They were okay, you know what I mean? Like uh, they're not. It wasn't bad. Um, I, you know, I I, uh, I compare it to other ships like let's say the Virgin Voyages. You know, um, artists solid all around. Mm -hmm. um, the Prima had some really good uh, artists as well um the carnival you know pretty good as well uh so yeah it's a typical setup um the 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 music around you're always going to find a spot on the norwegian joy no matter what like there's always a, a cool spot to be at to listen to music um there's really nothing 
nothing you can you can really say that that's bad about it. It's just that it's not going to be your top notch stuff. I guess that's the only thing. The parties were pretty good. I must say, they they were solid. You know, um, to be honest with you, they were better than the ones on Prima. Prima is the newest ship. Prima is the like you know, the grand ship of them all. Um, but no, the Joy had some really good parties. Sail Away party was pretty decent. Our favorite, the Glow party. That is always, that has been our favorite since we, the first Norwegian cruise that we went on together. Yeah. Um, and it's pretty traditional, except that they didn't do it at the pre which we were, we were very disheartened about. They called it the prom or something. Uh, it was dumb compared to this. Oh, this is a glow great? in the dark party with like EDM or like hits, you know, and like I have club to music, say, straight club music. I have to say, I am starting to feel old because the music that they, that the kids now think is old school is the, is the music that I would listen to at the club. Back in like 2007. Yeah. So like in the, like 2008, early, which was the better, early the 2000s. better club music. I must say it was 2006, seven, eight, nine around there. That's what they were playing. So uh, yeah, yeah, when you hear the whole crowd singing Flow Rider, you, <laughs> you know that that was a hit. <laughs> It was good. It was, and mind you, the glow party, you need to wear white. Yeah, so it was It was always, like, I guess you could say, said as, mm -hmm. like, an all-white party. But, um, so, at least pack one outfit that is just all-white all if white. you're going to go on an NCL cruise. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, we were prepared on the Prima and highly disappointed. <laughs> oh, that was rough. <laughs> on this one, on the Norwegian Joy, though, the, you know, because of the fact that we had the, uh, the hurricane was turned into a tropical storm. We had to stay, we had to dock, stay docked uh, in Bermuda for multiple days, more like an extra day an than extra we were supposed day. to. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, you know, raining a lot, uh, the the waves and everything. So they moved the party, the glow party, from the uh, spice section, which is outdoors in the aft, in the back, into the atrium. Now I thought, okay, you know what? That's probably a good idea. I don't know if it was supposed to be. Was it supposed to be? I think actually it was. The, okay, so on other ships we've been on, it's always been in Spice. Yeah. This time I think it was supposed to be on the pool deck because I yeah. thought it oh, said pool deck. Okay. And then they changed it to the atrium because... Spice is too small, I believe. Yeah. Plus the rain. Plus the rain. Well, it's because it's too small now. Yeah. So, uh, side note, they minimized the, the sun deck on Spice, so therefore... I would think that they can't really do the parties like they used to there. Yes. So they can just move it to the main pool deck. They, they moved it to the atrium, and I actually liked it in the atrium. Mm -hmm. yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I um, cause, You know, you, you get to, if you want to dance and be right there in yeah, the center in the of it all, yeah, <laughs> in the pit, uh, you can if you wanted to. If you wanted to grab a drink and sit around up on top, top on the, on the uh, upper deck. And just watch and smile and hey, look and at that guy. And dance in your chair. That guys go, hey, look at that one. That one is up. Uh, she's about to drop. She's about to fall. <laughs> Somebody had a little too many. <laughs> then yeah, you can do that as well. So I actually like the idea of it being in the atrium. It was you know again, the music was good. The music was solid. The DJ was good. The uh, the crowd was 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 it pumping. Uh, yeah, it, it was actually pretty good. So you can't miss out on the uh, on the glow party. So bring those uh, bring that white, white that you know, all outfit. white outfit. Um, what, what other stuff? So they also had an 80s party. Right. Um, and I think it was the next night after. And they also had, they also had a Latin night, which I thought was awesome. And tonight, the, since this is the last night of the cruise, they're going to have like a- Should have been last night. <laughs> they're going to have a far farewell party. So that, that'll be the last party of the evening, of the Which cruise. most likely will probably have that video right now. Even though we don't, we're not saying we're we're doing this video uh, like uh, hours ahead of schedule. Parties on here are pretty are pretty cool. They're fun. Like you can't go wrong. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like again, this is so many good things. Like really, really solid things put together. It's not lopsided. You know, some places will have great parties but crappy food, or really good food and no parties. This is a pretty well balanced. So, yeah, well balanced cruise. I think it's um, you know the the activities, the entertainment. You know, you get a lot for uh, for what you pay for. Mm -hmm. So activities. 
is the next on the list. So the heart of the ship is the atrium. And a lot of the games and trivia and stuff are played at the atrium. Um, the the cruise director staff does a really well job of like creating all these different types of games and and so that everyone can participate in some way. Yeah. Um, sometimes they get participants um, within a show, like you know, to make a show like um, the newlywed game, or sometimes they just have group participation so that it's like a like a trivia game or something like where we were guessing Guy, guys versus you know gals or or something like that um so at least or, at, or that yes or no yeah so at least yes at some no point you're you you're able to kind of um you know feel included did you like that yes or no thingy was it difficult it wasn't a yes or no oh yeah yeah, yeah that, that guessing game the, it's hard because there's so <laughs> many okay so there's this yes or no game where they put uh behind you they put like a picture of someone it could be an entertainment person it could be a politician yeah. or whatever and you basically ask the audience yeah. questions they can see it you can't yeah. and then based off the answers you start trying to guess yeah. who the picture is so like if there's a picture of you know, like she had abraham lincoln she would have to ask uh you know, is, is he is, tall is it a man is it a woman yeah. Yeah. yeah and then we would have to say you know yeah or no. Oh, no. But then it, the, the game started turning into charades. <laughs> <laughs> because it's, like I said, it's it's not easy when there's so many different people yeah. that it could possibly be. Yeah. So at some point it turns into charades and we're like doing like little hand gestures to the, kind the, of give yeah, them hints. The group, you know, the, the audience are helping them out. Like I was I was over here saying, he's the president, Pre you know, hiding the president. <laughs> you know, so that way the uh, host wouldn't see me. Um, yeah. But she couldn't hear. She couldn't hear. Number one, she even you blamed me you for not helping her. You can't hardly hear anyone in particular. And number two, you have like a spotlight in your <laughs> face, so you're not. You can't. It's hard to see. So I would say I did participate in that game, and I did get blamed for. And not I helping. got both of mine right. Just saying. I just want to point that out. That I got, one. I got blamed for not helping. Yeah, yo, he was just taping. I have proof. I have proof. Here's, here's too bad I didn't have a camera on my here, side. Here's the, the here's the proof of me helping her. Let me know if you can hear me screaming, <laughs> giving her <laughs> the answers. Yeah, that'll uh, be a separate video. No, it's, it's oh. playing right now. Oh. Oh. It's playing right now. President, he's a president. You hear that? A tall president. <laughs> 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 yes. So yes, I was helping her out, uh, so, but unfortunately she couldn't hear because again from that. In that spot, you wow. can't really hear everyone from the back. Aye, aye, aye. Maybe the front, but not the back. And I was towards the back, but that was cool. That was actually fun. Yeah, we so, love doing those uh, those activities. Yeah, those trivia type of games. So they also have a deal or no deal show. I think it, they sell tickets throughout the cruise, and then they have these shows. I think mostly in the theater. Yeah, because uh, I haven't seen them in the atrium. No. And another thing, they always have bingo. Yeah. And they usually have some kind of casino type of lottery. Typical stuff. Typical cruise ship activities that you will find. Well, not to mention they also have mini golf and they also have the racetrack, the little go karts. Which I laser tag. Which I have done. I've I've driven on the actually I, not this one, but it was the last one. It was the, the other one that we took before the Prima. I don't remember which one that was. I, I don't know if it was the Encore <laughs> or the Bliss. One, one of them. Um, it was a two a two deck uh, racetrack, and then when we went on the Prima, it was a three deck track, which is pretty cool. I love the three deck one. Um, this was a two deck, pretty cool, you know. But I didn't feel like wasting money. Like I said earlier, I just I just didn't feel like wasting money on um, on doing on racing this track. So overall, it was a great experience despite the weather. It was. It was a great experience on the ship. Uh, there was always something to do. Yeah. And if not, all else fails, take a nap. <laughs> because, well, that's what I did. Because we mean, did. Every day we had to take it, it, at least we a two-hour nap. We were drinking, 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 drinking. I found a, a, a not a new drink because it's an old drink, but I started drinking it again. <laughs> and after one, I'm tired. So I'm like... We a, start getting sleepy. I'm a sleepy drunk if that's the case. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this uh, it was the uh, piña colada. Mm. Why you got to say it with an accent? Uh, the piña colada. <laughs> 
and um, it, it, uh, we get doubles. And that's the other thing for the bars, man. Okay, so. This, this just switched this is, to the bars. This is a big, a big secret. So no other cruise line. At least you, from what we have oh seen. Oh, no. The cruise lines we've been on, the four that we've been on. Carnival. The other three don't Carnival, do this. Carnival Sunrise, was it? Carnival Mardi Gras either. They, Carnival Mardi one Gras, of the Royal Caribbean, uh, Freedom of the Seas. Uh, Virgin Voyage. We didn't try. Did we try with the Virgin Voyage? Yes, we asked, and they didn't do oh, it either. Really? Scarlet Lady, yeah, you had to wait. You had to wait five minutes to order another drink. I thought that was a carnival. That too. Same thing. You had to order. You had to wait five minutes to order a second That's drink. Crazy. So, Norwegian is the only one that allows you to, to get double up, double shot. So, like, if it's a pina colada, they do double shot so of be like, just the ask rum. for a double. Make it a double. Yeah. And now you also have to make sure that you make it very clear to the person, to the bartender. Yeah. Some of them don't quite understand it, so they'll try to give you two drinks. But basically, and that's another thing. So let's say you don't want to do a double, mm. and you do want two drinks, like one for me, one for him. One person can order two drinks at one time, yes. which I thought was pretty cool, yes. too. Again, not all the other cruise lines that you do that. No. They're trying to, I guess, you know, uh, spread it out. Stop you, <laughs> stop you from giving your drinks to someone else. That's the other thing. I mean, that's what Probably, I believe. Probably, but we don't have anybody else to give it to, so we <laughs> give it to ourselves. We're, I'm um, an introvert, so I don't <laughs> even know why I'm doing this, uh, you know, uh, vlog. It beats it just beats my mind. I have no idea. Final thoughts. Two thumbs up. I highly recommend. If you're local, Two like if, thumbs up. if you're <laughs> if you're from the New York metropolitan area, New York City, New Jersey, definitely recommend the the Can NCL Joy. Me. You know, it goes to Bermuda for about a day and a half, and so it docks there. It's a little bit shorter. The five nights. It was only a five night. Um, I think maybe earlier in the season they offered seven day. Yeah. But all in all. Great ship, great staff, service was excellent, uh, food was awesome, entertainment, activities, like all the boxes are checked off. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to give thumbs up. <laughs> we don't do that here. So uh, I do that apparently. What, 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 would you give, what would you give the food, you know, when it comes to the palm trees? What would you give the food? Uh, Out of five. It's hard for me to give anything a five palm tree. Right. So I would say it's a four, four and a half. Four and a half? Okay, what would you give the activities? A four, a solid four. A four. What would you give the parties? Uh, ooh. <laughs> I, would, I would go still four, solid four. Four? Hmm. So we have four, four, four and a half. What would you give the, uh, the ship? itself like the design uh you know walking around finding your way yeah i have to say i give it a five it was a pretty good it was a pretty good layout okay it was easy to find stuff the they they came out with the dailies you know that they left at your room plus you can use your ncl app and see everything on there too so i always found that that for the most part the layout is pretty good uh it was easy to get to stuff and like i said we were in the forward part of the ship so a lot of the things are on this side. So like the buffet, the theater, the a few of the restaurants. It depends on where you're at. The atrium. Depends on where you're at. So it was easy to, to <clears throat> access everything on this side. Hmm. The only thing that was a little further away from us was the pool deck. But, you know, that's not a big deal. Let me see. I agree with the food, maybe a four, right? I, you, know, it, you know, I'm not going to say it was close to being perfect because that would be a four and a half. So I'd go with a four. The activities, probably like a three for me. A three. Three and a half, if anything. I don't, I don't agree with you. Um, the, par you the, the parties, um, you know, this is not a party ship, right? It's not a party ship. Uh, it's not like the Virgin Voyages, which is, you know, straight parties, you know? Yeah, but even Carnival of Mardi Gras, that, they had some awesome parties. Their parties, and it was because the cruise director was great. Yeah, the cruise director was awesome. I don't want to say her name. I don't want to push it out there because this is for Norwegian. <laughs> um, by the way, they're not paying us. They they, they never paid us. Um, I wish that they would. 
I wish they would throw a couple of little rewards our way. <laughs> yeah, maybe, you know, $500 on board credit next one, you know, next cruise. <laughs> uh, but, but uh, yeah, I'm not pushing that out. Um, I, I think, uh, I think all for, you know, for me, I'm going to go with like three and a half, four palm trees. 